But never I say my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV there. I see them. Yopo. Memo kwa ba ede ba pen dream TV. So make sure send any day they can watch it. I best subscribe to channel. No no click a bell. No so send the news to our own service. Me I can watch it in time. Eh lawyer Beatrice. And then any day same. I bet you just ever vacant seat. Any speaker. Any Supreme Court. In sense, some are also so I enter Supreme Court. Any home where decision ever banu. No trema Supreme Court. Ah, body a say me a can't talk money as no. The be and who are mobet me a answer so many Supreme S B I or Parliament so. Now do a mobet me a answer so my baby. Any your interpretation of the Constitution you know how to do. Now many me enforce so parliamentarians. So our mo enquire now see in the Juma now so our mo go easy now say. Obi pesa parliament eko asetina na abaya itimi di juma na ni ejina abaya oti ya kunyai so no ana kasa MPs ene eso mu itimi eka mu bo no mu kwa tina si no mu so anya kwa maji ya bo mu se mu kwa tina minority side wa di ene ni ebe ya dimpa se eye parliament juma di ebe itimi ya kwa so isa nse eye mu peni na dano afanya markings e decide se ano pa di Aye minority side or speaker being commission or then the pound for and cotton and then a year between San and Eddie Abbott to just say, Say, a year after your mark and say, No, I can't be a name yet. Just say, After elections and a parliament, a bit me a cotton as because so far as a year MPs, dear Dick Claire Mussets, Bacanta, a chess or monk MPP for only dear and this is a majority in the supreme court interpretation being who are better as you know a bit me i can say mp so i'm a declare more a seat back and you know i'm more co-independent you know i can and people no input so i'm more people are attention a castle or more it is a voice or more kind people who are there is nothing a almost supreme court they wait me i a speaker and i said a force speaker so on frame up parliament and met and i see na eno di esa decision age na speaker wano wano kwa ane beti mi afresa parliament eme tina se no wati mi aka se ene eye MPP fwa ene eye majority in parliament men kasa bebre yon kwa ane yon koti yin se mi mi chire mo so you see in this supreme court decision that we anticipate they will give ordinarily the courts will either say the speaker is right or wrong that's what have been the outcome. But already, the court has taken the position that the speaker is wrong. And so I don't know any surprises that will come out of that Supreme Court decision. If the Supreme Court comes out to say that those people have not vacated their seat, what they would have done would have been to render our constitution very useless, or the provisions of Article 97, 1 G and H, and then Articles 99, very useless. They would have set up a wrong precedent that I pray it doesn't come to bite the MPP again because we are where we are because of the precedent they have set. And now they are seeking to set another precedent with the Supreme Court. We in the NDC are setting in our mind that some 27 days into a main election, there isn't much the MPP can do because for eight years, they haven't been able to do anything. So what they could not do in eight years, I doubt they can do in 27 days or even less. But on this note, I want to say that every Ghanaian must celebrate Speaker Bagwin. The Right Honourable Speaker has demonstrated the highest level of leadership. In fact, you could see that even the Supreme Court was very worried because they kept saying Ghana is in a constitutional crisis and the Chief Justice was practically emotional. Why is Parliament not sitting? As if the case before her was to get Parliament to sit. But the speaker has navigated this matter in a very sophisticated manner that I think that we ought to salute him. But I think when she mentioned that uh, they were in crisis, she was not updated at that time. About that, uh, 
it was uh, a lack of quorum that made no, parliament. No, and you don't say so that. So she was, if, she if was prompted that, and she no. took it back. If you, if you say that, you would rather be indicted on the speak that, that, that she just does the more. Because on the fact of the matter before her, she ought to know everything. So if you say that she was, no, I don't think it, she, she was very updated. I mean, to be fair to her, she was very updated. I think you're being fair to her. Oh, no, this morning, don't say that she just, she was very updated. She, if you say that she had no knowledge of certain things, no, she knew. Unless you want to tell me that the chief justice does not appreciate the workings of parliament. But she can't know everything into detail. Oh, no, she knows everything. Oh, she knows it. She, so she knows it. But the point I'm making is that the speaker ought to be celebrated. The speaker has navigated this thing so beautifully that even when a lot of constitutional law experts thought that that could be a constitutional crisis, we don't have one. What we have now is Afenyo Markin, who is so obsessed with his title minority leader or majority leader and so observe about chess so the mpp's problem today as we speak is not because the seats have been declared vacant or otherwise their problem is that they don't have chairs to sit on that is basically the problem or you see another problem is there any other problem because you see, these guys want to use propaganda, but they must know that Ghanaians have seen through them. First of all, after all the hassle and bustle, you people petitioned the speaker to reconvene parliament. What did the speaker do? The speaker obliged and actually issued a notice for parliament to sit and also gave the timing for sitting as 10 a.m. When it was 10 a.m., some members like Kennedy A. Japon, Api Akubi, Atachia said that they came into the chambers only to be told that the MPP Parliamentary Caucus is holding a meeting, a meeting they were not aware of. So they walked into the house, only to be told that you were holding a meeting. And they held the meeting so long that even after 10.30, they could not finish holding the meeting and coming back. And you know, they want to blackmail everybody and say, you know, what is happening is because the NDC doesn't want the free SHS bill to pass please let me state on authority that in that petition presented to the speaker requesting that parliament should sit there was no, no way that the mpp said that they wanted to present a bill for free shs in fact there is no way that they even stated that they wanted to present the air life which gives them the power to do galancé in water bodies and forest reserve to revoke it they they did not have these two things they are telling the public in the official records presented to parliament as the reason for triggering the parliament yes recall and they were not even present and you could see that even at the time afenyo Markin was addressing the press look at the number of mps behind him less than 30 these guys have never been serious with our governance issue and you think this is just parliamentary let me take you back to when dr baumia held the <clears throat> meets the press a journalist asked him about the cocoa industry i mean if you understand our economy well cocoa and oil and then the last one, gold, are the three things that you can say that hold this economy. A whole vice president who is the head of the economic management team did not know anything that was happening in the cocoa industry. 
And yet they'll come out to tell you that he has a bold solution, but certainly it doesn't cover Coco. These guys have checked out. They certainly don't care about what happens by way of our welfare and governance. It has to be about the next election. So even if the country will collapse for the next election, they don't care. They just have a strategy of having a different narrative in the media. Because how is it that somebody like Afenyo Markin can address the media and lie that, oh, the NDC doesn't want parliamentary business to proceed because there is a free SHS bill. This morning, let me tell every viewer that do not let the MPP blackmail you with the free SHS and say that it's the remedy to everything. And so when they are misbehaving, when they are mismanaging the economy, when food prices are high, when we cannot get beds in our hospital, when our children cannot get food, when pensioners are dying because this government has painfully taken away their money, they tell you that the reason why they cannot do anything they have to do is free SHS. And you see, even now, they have run away from their own digitalization agenda to free SHS. Oh, how? No. Oh, now, what was the last time you heard? The last time Baumia was somewhere in Ashanti region, the chief told him that I don't have electricity here. So if I don't have electricity here, what is digitalization to me? It's of no relevance to me. Mm. We must hold the MPP to strict account. Everything that is happening in Parliament is not the doing of the Speaker. First of all, the Speaker didn't go to court. They went to court. They even have the privilege of getting the court to sit in record time. You know, some, when you file a motion, I don't know how even the Chief Justice gets to know that there is something so urgent that they have to bath and come. So they have a record time of getting the court to do their bidding and get them to give a ruling that some way, somehow, they can foresee the outcome immediately they foul. What they are doing is gaslighting the people for their negligence. It is so bad that organized labor was told, do not go to on strike. Keep faith with us. Respect our words because we are going to revoke this ally. When it came to the most critical time, they did nothing about it. They say that, you know what, we need to give the free SHS a legal backing. When it came to the time, you presented nothing. And yet you come into the public <clears throat> and you speak this way. But in concluding, I want to say that the speaker has shown that like he said, strong men do not have to come in uniforms alone. The speaker has shown that we can stand up to people who think that they can use and misinterpret the constitution to suit their whims and caprices. The speaker has again shown that when we talk about separation of powers, indeed separation of powers ought to exist. I remember he saying that he wishes for a time when parliaments will not be subjected to the whims and caprices of those at the Flagstaff House. And we all pray for that time. Because, you see, this but morning... But isn't it very difficult to draw that line? I mean, yes, they, they all have their own we've, separation we've, of we've powers. We've always been drawing but, that line. Yes, but we cannot also overlook the superiority of the judiciary. There is no superiority. That statement you should redraw. Why? There is nothing in democracy like superiority of the judiciary. No, unless maybe you don't want to take it no, from that angle. It's not angle. When the, hold on, hold on. When the judiciary mm -hmm. interprets a, the constitution or a law or an article mm -hmm. for us, mm -hmm. you cannot say that because of separation it, of power. It is not. You can't say that because of separation of power, you will not go by the interpretation. No, that it, one is it not is allowed. It is not because of the superiority of the con the judiciary. It is because the constitution says so. Yes. Yes. So, it, so, that, so the point I'm making is that, so exactly. So, so the that is why so the, the so, okay. So the argument I'm making is that the the constitution gives that supremacy to judiciary. No, the constitution does not give. I and mean, this one, I don't want to go into law lecturing. 
no, the constitution no, Beatrice, this is not about is no no hold on Beatrice. Mm -hmm. let's let's not act like it's just a, no it's not so maybe the choice of words maybe maybe, maybe you have a problem with the choice of words but i'm saying the, that the tenets of democracy and constitutionalism is that you have to rule according to the constitution mm -hmm. so your source of power is, is derived from the constitution that is why when the constitution says that you must appoint majority of ministers from parliament mm -hmm. if you decide to appoint 126 like this government did then you have to nobody say what constitutes majority what constitutes majority at least your number by some interpretation you know that even if it is by one because the constitution so so mm -hmm. so merely because the president has the power to appoint does not mean he's supreme he derives that power from the constitution that's why the speaker says that what we know in ghana is the supremacy of the constitution and not of the judiciary so why is it that the chief justice could not compel the speaker to go and sit if she was so worried and she was ranting, why is Parliament not sitting? Why did she not compel the Speaker to reconvene Parliament for Parliament to sit? Because the Constitution does not give her those powers. Because she doesn't have the power to call for a meeting of Parliament. So she, after all, it is not the supremacy of the judiciary. And in any case, if she comes out with a verdict, which we are all expecting, that she will say that, oh, by some magical interpretation, these people have not vacated their seat. So they are supposed to be members of parliament. What can she do beyond that? Well, that's why she's given a stay. Uh, so, no, but at that time, the stay will no, no longer be operating <laughs> because then the substantial judgments will come. <clears throat> what can she do? She can only but have declared that this is what the constitution means. Mm -hmm. What happens thereafter? What can she do? She can't do anything about it. No. She what can, can do she something do? about, what what, do about how, it. How do you mean? If, 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 if a court gives a ruling and you don't abide by the, the court ruling. The court doesn't enforce, enforce its own ruling. The court only gives ruling. It, can, it cannot on itself enforce its own ruling. Yes, but what is ruling for? Yeah. What so, is ruling for? So that is where the separation of powers come in. That you have the power to give the ruling. Yes. So and now, you, and, and, and who received that ruling has the obligation to abide by the that ruling that's been given by the court. That is very true. And the ruling is that those people would have been members of parliament. Beyond that, what else? Beyond that, what else? Whether parliament will decide to adjourn synodites or after the election, she cannot say that I'm, odd, I'm issuing a mandamus compelling the speaker of parliament to call the house. If there is no quorum in the house, mm. or they do not have the numbers, or will she make an order directing members of parliament to leave their constituency to come? Because these MPP MPs, they don't look so serious with the business of the house. They certainly don't care about what happens. They are campaigning. And you know the funny thing? Everywhere you go, they are campaigning skirt and blouse. They are saying, oh, vote for Joe Mahama. Oh, we know that's Okoboy. The last time Okoboy we admitted That's an allegation. Oh, Okoboy admitted it on that your show. That he says Yes, he it's says not true. Please, it's not take true. your time. You it's can't not true. Ah, why? I was producing take the show. It's not time. true. She, he said that he's a politician uh -huh. and that he knows the dynamics. So when he goes to a, a certain path, uh -huh. he will tell them that, yes, I know you want to vote for... We all speak Ga. Oh. We all watch the show. So he said it in Ghana. <laughs> he said it in English. He said it when he was on the show with some... It's not just Okoboy. Boy. No. It's not just, like, I'll show you. I'll give you some posters. So it's Oko Boy and who? MPP parliamentary candidates who have even printed John Mahama's image on their banners. It's, not, to their, it's not one of those who are going independent. No, MPP parliamentary can I'll show you, you are scandalized. Go to the north. Everywhere, the campaign is that, oh, we know you vote for John Mahama. You vote for your John Mahama. I have gone to more than 12 regions. Go to most of the regions. The parliamentary candidates have only their pictures. And even the MPs, only their pictures. They don't have picture with Dr. Baumia. Yeah. 